Hey guys, in this video I'm showing you how to beat Golem and what my top 5 tips are against Golem. If you guys know it, feel free to press like button and for sure also if you don't want to miss any other archetype, also feel free to already subscribe to the channel and I would say let's go into the first tip how to beat Golem. Alright, actually in the first tip I want to answer how you should handle actually the golem when the opponent is doing golem first play what should you do in my experience when you are having even elixir and your opponent is going in with the golem in the back in my experience just go in with the tombstone and after that you're going in with the lava hound you're going in firstly with the tombstone so actually he already pushed pretty pretty hard into your side and you also can abuse your tower so now i'm showing you actually how i mean actually to defend golem first play opponent is doing golem first play you are not going instantly with the lava hound you ju you're just going in actually with the tombstone and then playing the lava hound actually then your opponent actually could play something like night witch but now you guys actually can see that the golem already pushed a lot into your side the tombstone will still help you and yeah that's all that's actually my guide how you should handle something like golem first play all right guys actually in the second tip i want to show you how you should actually deal with the golden first play from your opponent and you are not having actually any tombstone in the hand actually the trick is kind of tricky when your opponent is having the mega minion for example in the hand actually it's for sure already a free lose that but some that that that's something what you have to deal with otherwise you already lost in my opinion when your opponent is doing golem first play you are so so it's actually so so luck dependent so in this situation your opponent is going in with the golem first play then you should go in just with skeleton dragons and with the balloon and you should try to go actually on the tower trade then your opponent could do something like fireball uh, onto your push for example but then don't worry guys you are having actually the guards in the hand so it's completely fine going he's probably going in with the uh, baby dragon for example in the back but you are having for sure a big elixir lead. maybe he's also going in with the night witch, but then you're just going in with the zap and then you could think about should i actually go in with something like with the fireball but actually you don't have to you can just keep your tombstone for example but yeah in the next tip i'm also showing you how you could uh, actually deal something with, with tombstones against cool t uh, against for example lumberjack or ebops all right guys in the next tip i actually want to show you how you should handle with troops for example against ebops bridge or also against lumberjack bridge normally you should just play your guards against these kind of bridge pushes actually because you're always needing your tombstone actually to, 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 to defend the whole or to defend the big pushes but before you losing actually your tower you should defend actually ebops or elite barbarians like i mean ebops or llama jack like i am showing you right now it happens a lot of times that you have less elixir and your opponent is going instantly in with the ebops then just go in with the tombstone like that then he also just can't do thing can't just do something like with the zap because you guys can actually see that it's so a big positive to trade actually when you are going in with a deep tombstone like that he can't support actually or he can't um, avoid this big big tombstone value and yeah in my opinion just go actually deep with the tombstone also he couldn't do something like baby dragon at the bridge so trust me guys a deep tombstone against elite barbarians is pretty pretty strong but also before you are doing um doing a tombstone at the, in the deep always think about doing guards like that because for sure in the normal case you want to keep actually your tombstone against big pushes all right guys now i actually want to show you how to defend big pushes i actually doing now a friendly battle with two times alex here because in especially 
double or actually triple time you are doing big pushes. By the way, guys, how do you actually like the text above me? Is it helping you? Is it supporting you to see which tip I am right now? And yeah, now I'm showing you how to defend big pushes like that. Normally, in a case like that, your opponent is doing a golden um, first play and you're just doing in the tombstone and just doing the lava hound behind. Also probably just going in with the balloon and the back and then you are actually seeing the knight which is coming onto you. He's also probably going in like that and just like that but don't worry guys just play the fireball like that. It, it's important to play actually your troops like the skelly drags or like your other troops onto the backup that's the key that's the key play your backup onto the troops then you could go in with the lava horn or something like that and yeah that's the key play a tombstone against the golem he is pushing into you so it's firstly important to play the tombstone and then your lava hound and then play Fireball Mega Minion for example or Fireball Skelly Dragons at the backup for example against the Night Witch against the Elite Barbarians and yeah in my opinion that's the most efficient way to defend big big pushes which are normally a problem for you and that there's also a cool interaction which might help you actually Fireball um, plus the Mega Minion hit plus the Baby Dragon is actually killing the Baby Dragon so sometimes you should just think about should I also go in, go in on with a Zap against Baby Dragon and yeah I hope you nice go, guys now understand what I'm meaning and let's go into the last tip Alright guys in the next scenario I want to show you how you actually can activate the King Tower against the Golem and for sure when you are kiting the Golem in your own um, Blaine actually it's pretty pretty important to have the King Tower activated if it's possible for sure with the Lava Hound or with the Lava Hound Archetype you can't really activate the King Tower with all troops but sometimes your opponent is playing the E-Drake and when he's playing the E-Drake actually this is the only way to activate the King Tower you can't kite the Golem somehow at the King Tower so when your opponent is actually playing with the E-Drake you can activate the King Tower now I'm showing you actually a realistic scenario which could actually happens for example you you are going in with um yeah maybe with the guards then he's going in just with the electro drain because he is having actually no real answer and then you could actually think about how you should defend the king tower or how you activate the king tower you can go into mega minion like that and also like that and then you have to wait for the perfect second and then just go for mega minion actually you can see now the charge in my experience it's actually smart to wait some seconds and then just play your mega minion when you are not full with elixir so actually your mega minion is having more hp which might help you in all of the situation and yeah that's actually my top five tips i'm pretty interested about which is your favorite tip did i forgot any tip i don't hope so and yeah for sure hype to see you next video please write me in the comments which archetype do you want to see but i'm seeing so so many different archetypes so please don't hate me if uh, i can't actually record instantly your most hated matchup and yeah see you hopefully next video bye guys